Hey everybody, this is Salt the Hedgehog, and my book review is now about Warriors into the Wild. And this is a cat mask that I'm, I'm decorating and everything, as you see. But, um, I'm going to do my review over this book. I've been done with it some time now. And, from reading this whole book to the end, oh, let's see, where should I start? Firepaw, which is Rusty from the very beginning. He's a kitty pet. And this is spoilers, guys. So if you don't want to wa um, watch this, um, if you don't want to know the stuff that happens, do not watch this. Um, and pretty much he has dreams about, you know, being in the wild, catching mice, and he wakes up every morning. Eventually, he does go out to um, the woods to hunt for prey, and he's ambushed by another cat, which his name is Graypaw, and Rusty at the time is like, oh, what have I done wrong, and la la la. Graypaw tells him pretty much to hurry, get out of there, you know, but I know I'm not telling you everything right now because, okay, hold on. If I'm going to do this review right, I should really be serious. Urha hat. And a kitty mask. Great combination. But, um, my review, okay. It's from when Rusty became a kitty pet to a warrior in the Thunder Clan because Blue Star and Lionheart both agree on wanting to have them join, but Lionheart's like trying to test them and everything. And, um, eventually he does get accepted in the clan. And he does, Rusty becomes Firepaw then, but uh, Longtail, he's like picking a fight, you know, Rusty's uh, collar comes apart when uh, Longtail pulls so hard that it snaps off, and pretty much Rusty kicks his butt, so he announced, he is then announced as Firepaw, and uh, after that, he begins training, he has to go through the regiments, there's Sandpaw, Dustpaw, Ravenpaw, Graypaw and Firepaw is the apprentices, and um, I'm just not looking. And Blue Star's the leader. Red Tail, he gets killed. This is a major spoiler. If you do not know who uh, Red Tail actually got killed by, and you've not gone through this, skip through to the next. Let's say um, the next ten seconds. Skip through that. Red Tail is killed by actual Tiger Claw. Tiger Claw is a little bastard. Um, Lionheart does eventually die. Um, Lionheart was a really good character in the story, but I did see him. He died in the battle of Shadow Clan, trying to take over all the other clans' uh, hunting territories. And uh, River Clan is a pussy. After they took like part of Thunder Clan's hunting grounds, Shadow Clan it. Um, Chases Wind Clan out of their hunting territories completely. So, Wind Clan is like not even in the first book. But uh, I will give my review on the second book. And um, once I get done with the second book, uh, let's see. Ru uh, Firepaw trains with um, Graypaw and Ravenpaw. And um, this whole time, Ravenpaw is like. So scared about almost everything. He's agitated by... I don't know if I want to say the word agitated. Oh, also, I will use this mask um, in my reviews for the Warriors because it's a cat thing. And there's part of my hair. Oh, well. I might as well just yank it out. There we go. Um, let's see. Uh... Eventually, here's another spoiler, major spoiler about Ravenpaw, if you do not want to know. Um, skip the next maybe 10, 20, 15 seconds after right uh, about now. Um, Rusty, I mean, Firepaw eventually decides on getting um, Ravenpaw to safety because of, um, you know, he he's too worried about his safety and everything. Everybody's trying to kill him eventually, I think. Um, Tiger Claw tries to blame Ravenpaw and all this other stuff that was never happening. Um, Blue Star lost a life. Um, let's see, um, 
I don't want to give too much more details. Uh, Tiger Claw does become deputy. Shadow Clan's leader is eventually run out of their clan because Yellow Fang. Everybody keeps questioning on if uh, Yellow Fang is trusted or not, even though she gets accepted into Thunder Clan eventually. But um, she was ran out of her clan because of um, the new leader, uh, Broken Star. Or is it Broken Star? Let's see, um, Broken Star. Was he the previous one or was he the new one? A Wind Clan, River Clan, Cats Outside the Clan Shop. No, Broken Star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He killed his own dad. These are all spoilers, people. I'm going to tell you that straight up. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, Yellow Fang gets, uh, she protects the kids in the Shadow Clan raid, and then the Shadow Clan deputy, the new one that comes back later on, kidnaps the kids, and, um, takes them back to Shadow Clan, uh, Shadow Clan, some of the elders and other warriors, help them with, a uh, invasion of the Shadow Clan and, uh, uh, White Storm, I believe that's right, um, let's see, White, 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 white. White storm, long, uh, white storm, running wind, willow pet, mouse fur. There, they eventually find a fire paw, gray paw, and yellow thing comes in with some of the others. They invade the shell clan, and at this time they've already gotten um, raven paw, uh, to a safe spot where um. Oh, what is his name? Uh, you guys will find that out if you read it, or if you read it, you know who I mean. Um, oh, shoot, screw it. I'm just going to look it up. Um, sorry, guys, if this is a really bad review or something. Um, Barley, there we go, Barley. He helps him out. Uh, Barley's a really good cat. Um, let's see. After the invasion of um, Shadow Clan and getting the kids back from Shadow Clan. Uh, oh, Spotted Leaf dies in this. I was sad. Um, Yellow Thing is made into the new medicine cat of the Thunder Clan. Rusty and Grey Paw, this is major spoiler, they become warriors, so it's Fireheart and Grey Stripe, and they have to go in the, um, a whole night of silence where they cannot talk and they have to stay up a whole night guarding the Thunder Clan. And pretty much that's where the book does end and it continues off into this one. And here's a little spoil for the beginning of this one. It does start off uh, like in the prequel part of it or the you know prologue of the first one. They start talking about Wind Clan, so that's when Wind Clan comes in. But um I give a, my uh, stars about this had really good depth. I have to really consider and being professional about this. My review, if I had to say, um, storytelling and uh, developing characters. Ooh, I want to give that a four point five to five out of five stars because it's really good. But I believe they could have done a little bit more. Um, but it's her first book, so you know, she has other books, but she's really good, Aaron Hunter. Um, and I'm gonna. S <laughs> Storytelling 4.8 out of 5. Um, story structure I'm gonna give that a 5, actually. I mean, uh, no, let me rank that down a little bit lower 4.7 out of 5 because there were some okay no 4.5 is what I'm finally gonna do that because they could have done so much more but there were some parts where they just said okay this is what happened oh now we're over here la la la, la. um let's see what else um deaths I'm gonna give it a 5 perfect but um I don't like seeing kitties die much in this you know, I'm an animal lover. But, um, overall, I give this book a, uh, 5 out of 5. Okay? 
Other than that, this has been Saw the Hedgehog, and I'm signing out. And stay tuned to my next review over uh, Warrior's Book, Fire and Ice. Alright, everybody? So, other than that, I'm signing out. Saw the Hedgehog. Oh, aka, guys, if you're wanting to do that role-playing stuff, ugh, man, I feel like running nose from the Warrior's Book. Ugh. <sighs> PM me and I will actually role play with you stuff role play stuff with the Warriors books if you're very interested. Okay? Now I'm signing out everybody. Sign out, Saw the Hedgehog.